One of the other edifices alongside of the Hippodrome of Constantinople is the Turkish Islamic Arts Museum, which was built in the 16th century and at the time of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent was given to Ibrahim Pasha, his Grand Vizier and his son-in-law as a gift of the wedding. At the upper floor of the museum, we have a section for Turkish carpets, especially carpets from the Seljuk era, as well as the 16th century Ushaks, the Holbein, the Bellini, the keyhole design are some of those most fantastic designs one can see as an incredible display of old Turkish carpets. On the ground floor is the ethnographical section. Let us zoom in to some of these special carpets on display at the second floor, starting with a special keyhole prayer rug from Konya of the 17th century, followed by a pelt motif Konya of the 17th century. Then comes Konya Ladik, an 18th century prayer rug from the mausoleum of Aladdin Keikubad in Konya and Ushak of the 18th century as a prayer rug where you can see on the white base the footprints and Ushak of the 17th century multi-colors followed by a central Anatolian 17th century double star design a 17th century Transylvanian carpet reminding us of its better examples in Brasho, Romania. 17th century Konya prayer carpet with the design of Kaaba, the holy house in Mecca. A Konya 17th century medallions in wonderful condition a 17th century Bergama Holbein with two hexagonal medallions, a Holbein of the 16th century with six hexagons and two large hexagons, a beautiful lotto of the 16th century Ushak, followed by the 1221 with Kufic borderline from Konya, from the mosque of Aladdin Keikubat, with beautiful red and blue colors, the white base, multicolored hexagon, 1221 Aladdin Keikubat mausoleum carpet, followed by a 16th century double medallion Karapunar from Konya. A 16th century Chintamani double medallion Ushak. A 16th century Ushak with white base and the double birds design. Several of these runners showing each segment as a prayer carpet for the family 16th century Ushak. From northwestern Iran garden carpets as we call them of the 18th and 19th centuries. This garden design represents the Garden of Eve in Paradise. From the Caucasus comes the Azerbaijani carpet of the 18th century and finally a small fragment from the mausoleum of Aladdin Keikubat dated 1221 in Konya. A very small piece remaining as a result of these 18 pieces saved in our times because of the wonderful notification of the German ambassador to Konya in 1905. Alongside the Hippodrome lies 
the famous mosque of Istanbul, known as the Blue Mosque, but in fact the locals call it the Mosque of Sultan Ahmed, built by the same name, Sultan, in between the years of 1609 and 1616. The architect was Mehmet A, who was one of the students of the famous master architect Sinan. Before we enter into the mosque, we run into a portico with 26 granite columns carrying 30 domes, with an ablution fountain in the center with six columns. One can easily notice from the outside the six minarets and the 16 balconies and the dome which runs up to 43 meters high. When you enter into the Blue Mosque, one can beautifully notice the 21,043 Iznik and Kutaya tiles with 260 windows, a place in the front we have the direction towards Mecca called Mihrab, where the Imam stands and his congregation behind him, all facing to Mecca, which is some 17 degrees south east of Istanbul. To the right of this Mihrab, the prayer's niche, we have the Friday's pulpit, as well as the Chanter's pulpit, and the special section for the imperial family members to the left of the prayer's niche. The balcony is reserved for the ladies as the men and the ladies do pray separately. Right behind the Blue Mosque, underneath the foundations of the Blue Mosque, we have the old mosaic museum known as the Great Palace, dating back to the days of Constantine the Great. Some excavations have led us to the findings in beautiful mosaic of a medusa, a lion hunt, acanthus leaves, the slave pulling the camel with two riders are some of those fantastic scenes one can notice underground. 